Well, morning everyone. It's a proper wet and drizzly morning today in Hampshire. We're going off down to the community centre to drop Becky off to her course. She shot off ahead of course. Try not to get too wet. Once Nikki dropped off at the community centre, I might have a wander around and see if I can find something for lunch and dinner. Well, it's like flipping winter, isn't it? Hottest summer ever, and we picked the wettest two weeks of it to come away. Ah, let's have a wander up this way towards the church. Oh yeah, look at the size of them diamond rings. Must be for the Bride of King Kong. Closing down sale in Mountain Warehouse. That might be handy. Except it's locked and not open yet. I keep forgetting it's before nine o'clock. They know how to charge for houses around here. Look. Over three quarters of a million for a pokey little cottage. Well, there's the church. I thought we cycled around the back of this a few days ago. And this, of course, is the dead centre of Livington. I'll be safe from this one come the zombie apocalypse. Not only have they put a big stone slab on him, but they've fenced him in as well. Was that a bit disrespectful? Probably was. Sorry old chap. I think I'm going to turn around and walk back the other way. Going this way is losing its appeal a bit. Nice tower on this church with a sort of cupola on the top. That'd be a good place to sit and watch the world go by if you could get up there, wouldn't it? Ah, Millets have got a sale too. Ah, got myself a new jumper. I'll show you it later. Something to look forward to, eh? I'm heading back down the hill now. So far I've drawn a bit of a blank on lunch and dinner stuff. I go and look round in there but I don't want to make a spectacle of myself. Let's have a look down that passageway into that courtyard where we went to have a tea while we waited for the laundry the other day. Uh, not much down here in the way of uh, lunch and dinner provisions but uh, had to stop and have tea and cake instead. Pretty nice place this but uh, look like I'm the only one here. Well, that was pretty nice. Still need something for lunch and dinner, though. Aha, pasty shop. Haha, <laughs> got a lamb and mint pasty. So that's lunch sorted out. Oh, well, just got some veg from in there. Started raining again. And got some chicken from the butchers. Right, time to load up the trusty old e-bike and head back to the van. Oh, this wet weather looks fairly set in for the day, unfortunately. Oh, back at the van. Let's get in the dry, eh? Definitely time to get the kettle on. Well, I promised to show you my new jumper when I got back, didn't I? And uh, here it is. Uh, isn't it splendid? But there is a problem. Um, I hadn't realised when I looked at it, it's, it's from the women's section. It's a women's jumper. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? I'm going to wear it when I'm hill walking and such and it's uh, lovely and warm and it's uh, quite nicely fitting too. But uh, definitely a women's jumper look because uh, the zip thing is on the woman's side. Do you have a woman's jumper sir? Oh well. Definitely a bargain though because it was £35 and I got it for £13.97. Well, once again, it's raining outside, but uh, we do have some work to get on with on this tractor sign. So I'm going to gather myself together and see if we can make a start. Well, the first thing to do, I think, is to mask up the bits we don't want to touch and try and transfer the globe design. Probably cut these letters out too and uh, get them on there with the magnets. That's going to be quite tricky, but uh, we'll give it a go.
Well, it's less than ideal conditions out here in the gazebo. Uh, it's quite windy, a bit of a lull between gusts at the moment, and it's uh, still raining quite hard. So uh, I'm not sure it's really right for airbrushing, but uh, nevertheless, we're going to give it a go. Well, of course, one of the most important things when you're airbrushing is to make sure you have plenty of stops for tea. And now it's uh, ten past one. I guess it's time for a brew and some lunch. Now, while I'm making lunch, I want to show you this rather spectacular spider. Anyone know what sort of spider he is? He's so spindly and he's got uh, big goggly eyes and a little furry body. What a splendid chap. And he seems to have found a home in my breakfast bowl. Ah, oh, time for that lamb pasty I got earlier. Mm. And it's still raining, look. It really is just carrying on all day, I think, this rain. Right, well, I'm going to try and carry on a bit, but uh, one thing that's happened is there's been a little bit of damage to the blue there. That blue seems very powdery and delicate. I think I might have to give the whole thing a coat of lacquer at some stage to protect the work I've done so far. I know you probably shouldn't do that, but because the intercoat clear went off, I've got no other way really of protecting it. I'm hoping if I just flash a, a single light coat over, that lacked fairly similarly, or it might ruin the whole thing. Actually quite glad I brought the old airbrush in along with me on a day like this there's uh, not much else you could do you could sit in the van and read I suppose yeah look at it still chucking it down Oh, well, as you might have guessed, I was having terrible trouble with the white, uh, doing little white highlights on the claws. I just keep getting sort of splurting and spidering of the paint. It's a little bit annoying because <laughs> it's something I've done many times before and had no problems with, but uh, obviously either lost the knack or it's the environmental conditions or um, something amiss with the airbrush, something like that. Anyway, I've put that painting away for the moment. 
I'm just going to try some white on the black that's on the easel at the moment just to see if I can get things flowing nicely again. Oh, well, I'm a bit happier with that. Cool, that took some doing though. So there you go, today's progress. I'm uh, reasonably happy with it. I think I need to do something with the junction of the feet to the body. That looks a little bit weird at the moment. Obviously the world looks a little bit weird without the case writing in because you've got big holes out of Africa and South America. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. It's turning out to be a monstrous amount of work. Uh, much more involved than uh, anything I've done so far, but uh, quite enjoying it. I think what I might do before I get much further though is give it uh, one of those quick coats of lacquer because uh, especially that blue, very, very easily scratched without any protection over the top of it. Now it's time to pack away and go and meet Nikki. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.